Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the page replacement algorithms in memory management unit. So first of all, we just look at an overview what we are going to study. First one is why we need page replacement. Then basic page replacement technique. That how do we do the page replacement? Why do we do? And what is the necessity? All these things. Then we are going to discuss about different types of page replacement algorithms with their examples and their characteristics. So let's proceed. So first we are going to discuss why we need page replacement in memory management. We need page replacement because of the limited physical memory. Physical memory is that memory in which processes are being executed in the system. And due to its limited size, due to its limited capacity, we need some other space, other memory space in, that can be utilized for execution of processes and we can improve the concurrency and uh, uh, thus leading to higher throughput of the system. So due to limited physical memory, there are limited number of frames in the memory that can be used to store the parts of the memory or the pages of the memory, you can say. And the processes. And if the limited number of frames are there, then there is limited number of frames allocated to a process. And if a process if trying to execute in the system, it will be having the option of a limited number of frames. That leads to the decreased concurrency in the system and so as the performance gets decreased in the system because of the limited size of the memory, limited capacity of the memory. So that's why we need page replacement algorithms so that we can put only those pages in the main memory that are currently under execution that means that are required for current execution of the processes and the rest of the pages we put on the virtual memory or the secondary storage from which we fetch the pages as and when required by the process this is why we need page replacement this is the basic page replacement phenomena that for page replacement what do we need to do so first of all we need to find the location of the desired page on the disk for example if a process is being executed in the system and if it requires a page from the storage secondary storage in the main memory to for the execution to continue so we need to find the location of the desired page the page that is required by the process what is the actual location of that page in the secondary storage after identifying the the location of the page we need to find a free frame the frame that can be used to get the page from the secondary storage into the main memory that is called a free frame so there are various conditions for a free frame if there is a free frame if it is already available then we simply use it and put the page from the secondary storage into the main memory if no free frame is available in the system then we have to use the page replacement algorithms to select a victim frame victim frame is that frame that need to be replaced from the main memory and put the desired page at that location that means we have to free a frame from the main memory and the page that is stored on that frame will be replaced to the secondary storage and the desired page from the secondary storage will be put in that free frame. So simply we just write the victim frame to disk. The frame that is that that is to be that is identified to get freed. We just put that frame into that secondary storage and 
mark that frame as free and when the frame becomes free we just put the desired page from secondary storage to the main memory and update the page tables accordingly in the system then read the desired page into the newly freed frame whatever the page is required by the system from secondary storage we put that page into the free frame and change the page and the frame tables accordingly as per the changes done in the system and then when the desired page is there in the main memory we just continue the execution of the process that means we restart the user process under execution this is the basic basic graphical overview of the page replacement technique in which a physical memory this is the physical memory that is shown this is the secondary storage this is the frame that is identified as victim frame that is marked as victim we put the content of the victim frame into the secondary storage swap out victim page this page is swapped out to secondary storage and this is the desired page that is swap desired page in this is swapped into the physical memory at the location of the victim frame then we need to change to invalid in the page table and after the page is swapped in into the victim frame into the physical memory the desired page then we reset the page table for new page and the process continues there is overhead of the page replacement that is if no free frames if there is no free frame already available in the system then there has to be two page transfers first one from the physical memory to the secondary storage undesired page and then the desired page from secondary storage to the physical memory that means two page transfers will be required if no free frame is available in the system that means it is an overhead and the solution for the overhead is that we use the modify bit or dirty bit that we will discuss later in the section that what is the modify bit or dirty bit and what is the use of it when we will study page replacement algorithms then we discuss about replacement policy replacement policy defines that which page from the physical memory to be replaced if we are replacing a page from the main memory in the secondary storage then which page is to be identified as a victim frame so that we can replace it with the desired page that is the replacement policy which has to identify the page which is to be replaced then the page removed should be the page least likely to be trans referenced in the near future the victim frame that will be identified will be identified on the basis that it is least likely to be referenced in the near future that means it not be it must not be used in the near future for the execution of the processes in the system that frame has to be removed from the physical memory and the contents to be transferred to the secondary storage then the most policies predict the future behavior on the basis of the past behavior whatever the replacement policy we will be opting that identifies the past behavior of the system and on the basis of that past behavior future behavior is identified predicted and according to that the victim frame is identified and page gets replaced this is a graph of page faults versus number of frames as you can see the 
कर्व ऑफ द ग्राफ शोज ए स्टीप डिक्लाइन इन द कर एज द नंबर ऑफ फ्रेम्स इनक्रीज दैट मीन्स इट गिवस एन इनवर्स रिलेशन बिटवीन द नंबर ऑफ पेज फोल्ड्स एंड द नंबर ऑफ फ्रेम्स विच टेल्स एज द नंबर ऑफ फ्रेम्स इनक्रीज एज द नंबर ऑफ फ्रेम्स इनक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ पेज फोल्ड्स डिक्रीज अकॉर्डिंगली एज द नंबर ऑफ फ्रेम्स इनक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ पेज फोल्ड्स विल बी डिक्रीजिंग अकॉर्डिंगली एज पर द कर ऑफ द ग्राफ इट मीन्स हायर नंबर ऑफ फ्रेम्स इन द फिजिकल मेमोरी लीड्स टू द लेसर नंबर ऑफ पेज फोल्ड्स एंड इफ द लेसर नंबर ऑफ पेज फोल्ड्स देन द परफॉर्मेंस विल बी हाईली इम्प्रूव एंड द कंक्रेंसी विल बी हाई इन द सिस्टम एंड सो एज द थ्रो पुट ऑफ द सिस्टम पेज फोल्ड्स आर द फोल्ड पेज फोल्ड्स आर दैट कंडीशन where we need to identify a victim frame and replace that with the desired page that means if a particular process under execution wants a particular page for execution and that page is not existing in the system's physical memory make it very clear the page that is required by the process under execution in the system is not available in the physical memory that condition is known as page fault and for that we need to do page replacement for the desired page from the secondary storage to the main memory so these are the basic page replacement algorithms that will be using for the replacement of the pages as and when required in the system and we'll opt for the best algorithm so as to improve the maximum output of the system and throughput of the system so these are the various algorithms first one is fifo page replacement fifo means first in first out page replacement algorithm second one is optimal page replacement third one is lru page replacement lru means least recently used page replacement algorithm then fourth one is least recently used approximation page replacement algorithm it is the variation of the least recently used page replacement algorithm and the last one is counting based page replacement algorithms we will be discussing these algorithms one by one with their examples and their consequences and their number of page faults because different algorithms will be having different number of page faults and the algorithm having lesser number of page faults will be the best algorithm to use in the system for replacement of pages as and when required so we will be discussing these replacement algorithms in the next video till then thank you very much